Hey everybody, Happy New Year. I know it's been quite some time since my last video, but new year, new video. I'm actually getting back into it because of some recent comments made on a particularly old video. Thank you, Brother Bosco, for kind of reigniting my desire to film. So new year, new fish, new recipe. But first, some dive footage set to some unrelated spearfishing music. Here you go. Sand sea trout. I have never seen one of these before, so I was really happy to get one. Today's recipe comes from a food blog called Julia's Album. I don't usually like using these type of food blogs, but she did have the decency to put jump to the recipe options right at the top, and I appreciate it so much, I went right through and read the entire blog. The recipe sounds easy enough. All you need are a few key ingredients, Italian seasoning, garlic, half a lemon, some butter, olive oil, cheap, cheap wine, salt, and some parsley for garnish. So I'm a little nervous while I'm gonna cook this because the recipe says the skin has to stay on. Uh, that prevents me from removing the bloodline, which is where the fishy flavor usually resides, but uh, we'll see. All right, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna season it liberally with some Italian seasoning on the flesh side and also salt to taste and next two tablespoons of olive oil over medium heat uh, looks about right next step we're gonna lay the fillets flesh side down After three to four minutes, you flip it to the skin side. This always makes me nervous. Oh, I don't like that. It's stuck. Oh, shoot. All right, so after another two to four minutes uh, cooking with the skin side down, it says take it off the heat, which I did, and cover and let sit for five minutes or so. All right, so I transferred the fillets over to this plate, and the next step in the recipe is I have to remove any skin, but all we had was this, was this little bit. Uh, next, we're gonna make the sauce, which we're gonna use all the oily bits in here, and I'm hoping it tastes great. And here's a cooking hack. If you want to get as much juice as you can out of the lemon, throw in the microwave for 10 seconds. And it's all nice and squeezy. And now we're gonna add the white wine, garlic, and lemon juice. Oh yeah. This is going to cook over medium-low heat for a couple minutes. See that? Almost all the juice is gone. So after about a minute, you take it off heat, add the butter, and the parsley. All right, while it's off heat, you stir everything together until the butter melts and forms a creamy mixture. I feel like it needs more butter. Final step, you... We put the fish back into the pan with the sauce, just like that. And then we're gonna spoon the mixture over the fillets. Sauce is spooned over the fish fillets and with the last bit of parsley that you made, just garnish it. And you're good to go. 
So it's been a while since we've done one of these. Um, I've got Veronica here, my wife, my loving wife, who is gonna taste test this fish. Uh, new recipe, new fish. Let's see. She's looking like she's hungry and is gonna kill me. I feel like I may have overdone the lemon juice. It's good. Not bad? It's nice and tender, fresh. I like the lemon, I think it's just good. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, because it said for two tablespoons, but I ended up using uh, like a whole half a lemon. No, it's good. I like it. Give it like a little bit of zest. Okay, good. So works. That's a good yep. try. Mm-hmm. I like it. Good. All right. Can we get a sum of approve? All right. Awesome. Food blog. Follow the recipe. Thank you, Julia. Appreciate the uh, tips and the recipe. So, sand sea trout. Eat it. It's good. Bye. All right, and the, the real taste test, the kiddos are gonna try and eat. Go ahead, let's see what you think. I'm gonna try. Use a fork, you barbarian. <laughs> I'm gonna use the fork. Hmm. Oh man, it's so good. Is it good? Yeah. Can I get a thumbs up? Good, so good. All right, thumbs up guys. Awesome, thanks. It's so yummy! High five. Boom, high five. It's so yummy! <laughs> All right, bye. It's so yummy then.